it's Gamebook Collector here. I've got sad news, it's been announced over the last day or so that legendary fighting fantasy artist Russ Nicholson has sadly passed away. Russ set the standard for fighting fantasy artwork, being the first artist to contribute to the series with the first gamebook, The Warlock of Fire Top Mountain. His unique interior artwork continued to wow readers in the second instalment of the series, The Citadel of Chaos. He graced the fighting fantasy pages once again with Masks of Mayhem and Chasms of Malice. His artwork continued on to game books such as Stealer of Souls, Island of the Undead, Death Moor, and Mage Hunter. Russ also illustrated the Vance Fighting Fantasy series Black Sand and Alancia. Outside of the Fighting Fantasy series, Russ illustrated the Fable Lands game books, with maps, diagrams, and interior illustrations. And of course, countless other publications he illustrated, such as White Dwarf Magazine and Warhammer. Fighting Fantasy co-founder Ian Livingstone tweeted, I was devastated to hear that Russ Nicholson had passed away. I had the pleasure to work with Russ on the Warlock of Firetop Mountain and more. His iconic pen and ink illustrations were incredibly atmospheric and set the standard of Fighting Fantasy. He will be greatly missed. Fighting Fantasy co-founder Steve Jackson continued, this is dreadful news. Russ was a founding father of the black and white art which became so important as one of the features of fighting fantasy. Sadly, his adventure has ended here. Gone, but not forgotten. Our condolences to the Nicholson family. It's a very sad time for fighting fantasy fans and also gamebook fans also. Uh, Russ was one of my favourite artists throughout the years. My thoughts go out to his family and friends during this sad time. Gone but never forgotten, his artwork will live on through generations of gamebook fans to come.